Welcome back. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about selection bias. Now, selection bias is just as it sounds, something in the way or the process you use to select your sample has created a bias that either over or underrepresents a specific group. So the textbook uses a really obvious example. I'm going to use one a little less obvious just so you can start to see why it can be very complicated to identify selection bias and also the problem with it. So in, uh, in a situation, if I wanted to sample elderly people, where would I go to do that? Now I've asked this question to thousands of students and often the first answer is retirement homes, right? or old folks homes or whatever it is you want to call them, uh, retirement communities, elderly care facilities. Well, all of those places, yes, they have old people. So it's a great place, right? Well, let me ask you this. My grandma is 98 years old and she still lives at home by herself. What do you think is true about my grandma versus people living in a elderly care facility. Do you think she's healthy? Yeah. Do you think she's independent? Yeah. Do you think that she has a lot of family around her that helps take care of her? Yeah. What about people though that are in an elderly care facility? Are they healthy? Not as much. Are they independent? No. Do they have a lot of family around? Maybe, that, that might be true. You can see already the huge difference between those groups. And if you're only selecting from one spot, yes, it's all elderly care people. It's all elderly people in an elderly care facility, but it also is going to make that population look like they're not as independent, that they're not as healthy. If you're not including everybody who still maybe lives outside of an elderly care facility or with their family, so that's what selection bias is. It over or under represents a group and it can be very difficult when you're trying to do statistical inference if you have some selection bias because you automatically from the jump are not having a group that fully represents the population. That's it. See you in future videos.